fonts into Canva. Although Canva has a vast library of fonts to choose from, sometimes it's nice to upload the ones you like to work with. Let me show you how. Often I like to choose my own fonts when creating resources, whether I'm selling them on TPT or creating them for personal use. So to upload your own fonts, you are going to go here on the left-hand side to brand, and you're going to create a brand kit. You can have up to 100 different brand kits. I like to have brand kits when there are specific colors I'm working with or fonts so that I have them all ready to go. But if I wanna add a new font, you would either add new and create a new brand kit, or add one to a kit you already have going. You can even add own custom colors. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But to add a font, you're going to do add new and upload font. Then you'll click add new. You will then find the font file on your computer. I like fonts that are called KA fonts. It is a font bundle I have found on TPT. I think her fonts are beautiful and she has hundreds and hundreds of them. So each set has like five or six fonts in them. But let's go ahead and just choose a font here. Let's do KA Boardwalk. I'm going to open it here. I do, I do own this font and I have the right to use it for my intended purposes. So I'm going to upload it here. And then you'll see that KA Boardwalk is here in my font library. So if I were to go home and create a design, let's just choose a new design here. I'm gonna do custom size eight and a half by 11, and I want to insert my text box. I need to make sure that this brand kit is showing. You can see I have lots of different brand kits, but I uploaded it to this brand kit. So I'm gonna make sure that brand kit is selected first. And then I can go ahead and add the title or whatever I want my product to say. We'll just pretend we're making a homework sheet here. And now I can find that font I uploaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there. And you can see here, uploaded fonts. And it will have every one that I've ever uploaded right here. Now I can go through and I can find it like this. Homework, oh, that's super cute. Or you can even just type it here, K-A boardwalk and there it is. So I love to have my fonts easy to find on Canva, the ones that I am working with all the time. While Canva has a vast library of fonts, sometimes you need something different that they don't have. Now I was also going to show you how on that brand kit, you can also have your colors here available in case you're working on a certain project for your class and you want to use those same colors over and over. Again, you would go to this brand here on the left and choose the brand kit you want. Super easy. You just click colors here and click the plus sign for add new. And you just put the color code right here that you want, or you can just drag and find the colors you want on your own like this. It's super easy to add those colors. And then they're always at the ready when you're creating a project. So here's the purple I added. When we go back to our homework project and I want this to be purple, I will highlight the text and right here, see those colors come up and I don't have to individually insert my hex codes every time. It's just right there, the colors that I want and that I'm working with. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe my channel so you can learn more Canva tricks for your classroom. In the description below, you'll also find links to Canva courses, my Teacher Author Brilliance Club, and some other fun things to help you learn how to use Canva in your classroom.